Hi all folks, so today, um, oh, this is Max from um, um, droidbionicroot.com. So today I'm going to show you how to uh, install a new ROM using SafeStat Scrap Recovery. Um, so what you want to do is go to Save Boot Menu. If it's disabled, you want to enable it. Um, hit the power button. And uh, toggle Save System. Hit the power button. And say yes. And this will pretty much back up all your data, and so you can safely install a new ROM. Um, so I'll be back when this is done. All right, folks. When that's done, um, it should say enabled. You're all good to go. Go back. Um, hit the power button, and then we're gonna do um, wipe data factory reset. Hit the power button. Yes. Hit the power button. <laughs> this sorry. Ah. Angry birds going in the background. Um, so that will format the data and the system. Um, and as a precaution, we're gonna just wipe some other stuff. Well, we don't have to. If you have problems, you can also wipe Dalvik cache and uh, but we're just gonna do this and install the new ROM. Since we're in the safe scrap, it should be pretty safe to just install a new ROM after you do factory um, reset here so it should take another couple more seconds so once that's done um, you can go to install zip from SD card and it's pretty much the same as the other clockwork my recovery I had a video about choose zip from SD card um, from internal or SD wherever you copy the ROM to and uh, you know, it's not here, so it must be in. Let me go back to install the SD card and go to external. And there we go. I'm installing the Bionic Eclipse ROM. So let's install it. Say yes, and that should that should pretty much do it. And I'll be back when this is done. Reboot and find our new ROM working. See y'all later. Or I'll be back. Hi, right, folks. That's so. That's done. We're just gonna go back. Um, hit the power button, and we're gonna reboot system now. Hit the power button, mm -hmm. and uh, we should have a new ROM loaded. Um, let me just wait till to show you the splash screen of the new ROM. If it has a new one, I believe it does. So we can skip the safe mode by hitting the search button. And we should get a boot splash screen here. New animation, boot animation. Okay, maybe there isn't one. Or is there? There we go. There we go. So that's the clips. Um, Boot animation looks really cool, actually. Uh oh, time out. I had to take care of some emergency situation there, real quick. Um, but it's still booting up. There we go, and we got new um, ROM. So that's how you install new ROM using Safe Strap. Pretty much same as the old way, um, but you just have to put that safe mode thing in there, and uh, just make sure put it back. Toggle the safe mode when you back up and restore ROMs. Alright, thanks y'all. See y'all later.